Greetings and welcome to Alluris. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, huge, huge thanks to the developers for giving me a key to play this game. This is going to be out on October 11th, and um, I'm, I got a key early. I really am thankful for that, so I can show it to you today. Uh, anyway, this is a choose-your-own-adventure type game with cards. It's kind of cool. Every card represents a day, and uh, I've had a lot of fun with it so far. I've played a little bit, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, and then, first of all, let's look at the settings of the game just to give you an idea of stuff. We have graphic settings from magic down to potato. And we have music effects, ambiance, accessible control mode as well. And then you have a variety of resolutions that you can choose depending on your computer settings. Um, now we have the gallery, which is kind of fun. We have promo codes, which I have no idea what that's for, uh, except for it might be for the card backs, which are here. Um, classic or beta tester. I think that's really pretty, so I'm gonna use this one. And PAX card back. I don't have that one, uh, but I assume that was a code given to people at PAX. Uh, I wish I kind of had it, that's kind of nice. But anyway, um, and then we have Fallen Heroes. Now these are the previous rounds that I have played. My best one um, was, this is my latest one, Gandalf Burnsides. He survived 347 days, and I think he died in the ocean crevasse, um, and he was single? Really? I thought he got married. Um, and then level 13. Uh, anyway, had all these items, lots of items. Gotta get items. Items are important. Uh, anyway, that was my best character, and we have Wharton Lauhant, uh, died in the old mines, got three items, eight days only. Then we have uh, Titus Lavore, 19 days, died in the dunes. And then Bilbo Dorolo. That was our, my first character, actually. Had uh, a lifetime of 42 days. Died out on the road. Rough times, man. Only got to level 5. So, uh, I have some amount of experience playing this game, and hopefully I can just kind of transfer that to you. We have credits here as well. I'm not going to go through all these, but that's really cool that... Um, they are here. We can actually scroll through them here and uh, and just kind of look. There we go. Yay. Uh, all right. So let's go back and start a new game. Now continue is just if you have saved an adventure. If you die, you're dead. Let's start a new adventure. What I do like is there's a gender. We have male and female and non-binary. Isn't that tasty? All right, we have races. We have human, common, no bonuses or debuffs. Let's see if we have anything else. I don't know if I've unlocked anything else uh, after the last playthrough. I got pretty far. Okay, we have to be a human. All right, that's our thing. All right, we can be a farmer. Normal stats, no bonuses, no debuffs. I've played all of the other characters on farmer because I didn't have anything else unlocked. So let's see what else. This looks like maybe a blacksmith, uh, possibly a sword wielder soldier. <gasps> Racer. Oh, I know where this comes from. There's an event in the desert we could get this from. Speediest racer around. That sounds fun. Okay, something with barrels, possibly tavern something. That looks like kind of a helmet, maybe. An axe. Hey, the Viking trait. Sword. Okay. <gasps> Wizard. Ooh. Nose magic. Well read. Kind of nerdy. Hey, that's kind of like me. Um, all right. And then we have other stuff. Uh, soldier again. Money. Coins. Merchant. Okay. I think I really want to be a wizard because I have not tried that out. And I don't know if it changes things or not, but uh, obviously we're going to get, we're going to know magic because I know as a farmer, you do not know magic. That's not a thing. So, all right, let's go. Let's start. I do love that I can play this game with my magic mouse. Uh, really, really handy. It's so good. Ooh, look at this. Oh, hey. All right. Let me show you the interface. First of all, health. This depends on our level. Uh, at lower, obviously, leveling is leveling up as in XP. The higher level, the more health you get. Uh, we have 80 gold and one karma. That's kind of the same as the farmer start that I had. Uh, we have here, we have items. We're enlightened, magical powers, and human. Okay. Well, human is not really an item. Some of them are qualities, obviously. Uh, we have a map here, which is kind of cool. Um, and then we are, this is our name, Vax Averil, and we're at the wizard tower. Now, these things are treasure chests. They kind of make noises if you click on them. Uh, you can't open them. Basically, what they are, are if you go to a dungeon and find a loot room or it says you have gained treasure, 
These are kind of like your pocket space. So you can basically only store five thingies of treasure and then you kind of sell it at taverns or in other town places. Now this, this is the important part of the whole game. These are the cards. Happy wizarding day. You've reached the point where you can take your final casting exams. Now you click on this and you can either shove it left or shove it right. We have, I have more important things to do. Usually that's the cancel or run away or something to the left and to the right is the let's do this. There we go. You enthusiastically stride into the exam hall, your best pointed hat snugly on your head. It's time to show them what you're made of. Casting exam, your final trial awaits you. Okay, we can do turn the dummy into fruit. Blast the dummy with a fireball. Ah, let's do it. The art archmages are impressed with your mastery of evocation magic. They award you with the wizarding license. Grady would be so proud. All right. An old friend. You recall that your mentor, mentor Grady, retired in the tundra years ago. It's been too long. I want to see him. Or he doesn't want me bothering him. I want to go see him. Let's go look. The trip down the mountains into the tundra is uneventful. Grady shared where his cabin was with you when he left the tower. Ruined cottage. A smoldering, collapsed cottage stands in the snow. Investigate or get out. Let's investigate. You find several corpses near the cottage, two of them being Grady and his pet drake. No! Snowball has died. One of the other bodies stands up and attacks. What? Corpses are attacking me. Okay. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, wow. Skeleton thief, an assortment of bones and knives stands poised to strike. We either fight or run away. I don't know if we're very strong right now to take on a challenge seven. I feel like these challenge numbers kind of are difficulty levels, shall we say? Um, I've seen up to 12 and that was when I was very strong. Um, I'm gonna run away. As you flee, you nearly trip over one of the other soldiers. Wearing the crest of Baron Dread, you vow revenge for what he did to Grady. Raging Mammoth. A mammoth is stampeding across the tundra. Either fight it or try to calm it down. No, hell's down. Okay, you run up, arms raised to stop it. This only panics the beast further and you get kicked as it runs away. Now, one thing that I would love to see in the game um, is as I'm reading this, I read this first, um, and sometimes I miss the little numbers up here. So it would be, be nice if like they stuck around like the gold up or karma or health, because sometimes when you go through the cards so fast, you don't notice what changes your karma because karma is fairly rare to change. And uh, it's nice to know better. Ikhard Lawkeepers, a group of armored men with katanas ride by on polar bears. We can ask to join or, whoa, they're cool. Ask to join them. They explain they're from the Ikhard Monastery up in the large mountain to the south. They offer to show you the way. Foot of Mountain Originus. There's a path up the mountain to some sort of ancient monastery. Uh, let's go. As you ascend the path, you encounter dozens of natural hazards. Extreme winds, sheer cliffs, thin ice. They batter you as you ascend. Wow, our health's getting really low. Combat trial. As you step into the monastery, the Ikhard monks confront you. Your training starts now. Wow! Uh, wait, I'm tired! Injustice will not wait for you to be ready. One of them shouts, striking you. You're pummeled unconscious. Whoa! Okay, we're in the infirmary. You find yourself in a room with beds and medical supplies. Rest and heal. Help! Okay, we have a training room. You find platforms arranged in some kind of training course. Uh, I would like some training. You walk into a room full of swinging blades and flaming hoops. Huh. A council of masters sits to judge your run. Okay, we have... Okay, so this is an event. These are kind of fun. So we have... Sometimes these event, if it's a course of some kind, like a training course or race course, you have to fill up the bar from zero to a hundred. Now there are also mega beasts out in the world where the bar is filled up. And if you kill them or as you kill them, it goes down. So it's like an HP bar that goes down. So that's a little bit confusing. I think it's the same color as well. It's like gold. So um, anyway, it's kind of a strange thing. You see a large, 
You see the top of a large pipe. Okay, big green pipe. What do we do? Leap over or dive in? Uh, let's leap over it. Oh, whoa, darts. Darts weave across the path ahead of you. Let's crawl under them. This is definitely worse. There are darts down here too, and it takes longer to crawl through. No, jeez. A monk leaps out to confront you. We can either fight. Let's fight. Aye. A line of small footholds floating into a pool, floating tiles. Now you can see this glow very visibly on this black background. This means we have another option. Magical powers magically enhance your jumps. That sounds great. Or swim through. Let's magically enhance our jumps. Yay, plus 10 on the scale here. Um, I have to say in other backgrounds, sometimes this is harder to see. I know it seems really bright right now, but literally it's much more difficult to see on other kind of like foresty backgrounds or other things like that. We have a log swing. Grab it and hold on for dear life. Stick to it. Yes, magic. Ooh, ring chorus. You encounter a string of hanging rings on fire. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. No. Grab the fire rings. Ow. I'm going to die, I think. Oh, geez. You grit your teeth and swing across the flaming rings. At least you're not in a jungle. Eh. Let's swing across. Ah, no, we died. You barely miss the rope and plummet down into the pit. There are scorpions down there. You take a sting as you scurry out. No! We actually... Huh? Why am I still alive as I'm at zero? As you're pummeled in the training room, the world goes black. Oof or ugh. Let's go ugh. Oh, wait! I'm healed! Oh, ooh, you find yourself in a room with beds and medical supplies. Let's rest and heal. Oof. Okay, the Ikard Shogun. You find a room containing a leader of the Ikard. He's very sick. Let's uh, send, spend a minute with him. You spend a few minutes with the unconscious Shogun. Okay, so here we have Karma. We've got a couple points there, which I wish would... I, I want a poor permanent thing. I didn't notice them. I think this is what causes the Karma. Scroll collection. One of the monks comes asking you to fetch a few history scrolls for them. Uh, ha! No, I don't do fetch quests. Ha <laughs> ha! That's so funny. So many nice references, like, to MMOs and stuff. That's so good. Ecstatic, he explains that uh, Mithrandir and Hildebor all have scrolls he needs. You need to travel to each city and pick them up. Okay. Training room, challenge 10. I wonder if... Can we... Try it? Yeah. We're not getting any XP here. It's kind of like... Let's go run. Oh, this is bad. We're peppered by several darts. Okay, another net climb. Yeah, climb it. Oh no, more. Scary. Monk. Fight. Aye. Okay, magic. The rings. I don't want to. Oh, we don't have to. A gauntlet of sharpened pendulums. Freeze the blades. Okay, we're getting more points here. Pitfall. Let's try to jump in. Oh no! You plummet into the pit. There are scorpions down there. Oh no. <sighs> All right, we're back to the infirmary. Let's rest. I wonder if we might get XP if we finish that course. I don't think we can. I think it's really too dangerous for us right now. Okay, there's a Skojak prisoner. You find a side room with a prisoner from the Sh Skozak tribe. Walk away or break him out. I want to walk away. I, I don't know what he's done. Okay, the Shogun. Let's let's send thoughts and prayers. See if that gives us more. Oh, it doesn't give any, any karma at all. Okay, we're at full health. I don't think there's much else we can do here. So let's go down. Go down the mountain. Ah, yes, the polar bears. Let's say, whoa, they're cool. Because we've already been up there. Uh, that's what they do. Yes, yes, they are cool. <laughs> okay, we find a lone bird wandering the tundra. This is a wild piper. Let's fight it. Okay, we finally are getting some XP. Icy hut. You find something built in the ice. Check inside. Ooh, you find a couple of guys inside fishing. Uh, what are they fishing for? You hop into the fray and fish for a while with the men. A simple meal later, you're slightly restored. That's nice. A mammoth is stampeding across the tundra. Eh, last time we tried to calm it down. Let's try to fight it this time. Oi! Okay, we got some stuff. We did get some meat. 
It's weird that we didn't get like a confirmation there. Path leads back to the road. Hmm. Let's stay here. Ice Raptor. Okay, sure. Let's fight this thing. <gasps> Yeti. Oh dear. That's bad. That's bad. Run. You turn to flee, but the Yeti catches you with his club, knocking you out. He drags you down into his lair. You find your feet frozen to the ceiling. Nearby, a glowing sword is stuck in the ice. Use your force or play dead. No, let's use our force here. You reach out with your feelings, pulling the frozen blade from the ice. As you cut yourself loose, the Yeti returns. We got a soul blade. Ooh. The Yeti is upon you within its icy lair. Fight with the soul blade. Oh, wow. Level nine. Nice. You bring the magic sword and swing wildly. It easily cleaves through the creature's arm, splitting it off. The creature roars and storms off to perish in the blizzard. You collect meat and yeti fur from the arm. Wow. Scary times. You find a treasure chest frozen in the ice. I feel bad for that yeti now. Let's use our force. Woof. Nice. You find an exit from the yeti cave. So we've got two things of treasure now. So we can do those. We can get those. Hopefully we survive. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Egg thief. Is that a dragon egg? Uh, leave it alone. It's fine. Icy hut? Sure. Couple guys fishing. Yeah, let's go get some uh, nice health. Health boost from food, especially in this game. You hop into the fray and fish for a while with the men. All right, we're slightly restored. Raging mammoth. I gotta fight again, I guess. Lone bird. Let's keep our distance. We can go back to the road. I don't really want to go back. There's something in in the in the world here, and I know it's here, and I want to find it. Okay, there's a blade-sized recess in the stone of the darkened obelisk. Now I have never gotten the glow here before. We can either throw a rock at it or insert soul blade. Now the other option that I had was stick your finger in the groove. You effortlessly slide the blade into the stone. As it lands at the hilt, you feel a clicking noise. Suddenly, the stone splits, revealing a passageway down. Challenge 15? No, I think we're gonna have to. Let's stay up here. Let's get stronger. Uh, no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go to the ice caves. Yes, let's check the ice people. Oh dear. Oh no. Odd ritual. You find a circle of robed figures frantically performing a ritual. Cultists fight. Offer to help. One of them tosses you a potion. Drink this. Sure. Wasting no time, you down the potion. Suddenly, you see a wraith contained between the figures. We have the sight. It's a new item for us. So this is what they're doing. They yell for you to attack it. We can complete the ritual or fight it. Hmm. I think we'll fight... Ah, health! Complete the ritual spring into action, following and completing the ritual they were struggling to hold. Together you purge the wraith. The robed figures breathe a sigh of relief and invite you back to the tribe to hang out. Woohoo! Alright, so this is the Skojak celebration. You lead, you're led to a party celebrating the passing of the wraith. Alright, so, what was that? They explain that the spirit is at rest now. Also, that you've gained the sight means you can see departed spirits even when they're hiding. All right, you've assigned it to the next rank within the Skojak. Woo or woo? <laughs> it's funny. The Nap Shack. I love the name of this place. A place to rest and heal. Rest up. Okay. Ice school hunt. One of the older tribesmen says you should go and kill some ice schools. Sure thing. Awesome, he says. Just remember to bring some ghoul bits back. Uh, the Oracle Council asks us your questions. Okay, the funny thing is, previously I got what is the meaning of life, and I actually liked the answer. What's up with this sword? This sword was once controlled by the greatest evil in the world. It contains countless lost souls who seek but will never find freedom. Please take it away. It's a real downer. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I want to... I'm, the noise here is really loud. I'm gonna have to turn that sound effect down. Can I press escape and maybe get an... Oh, yes. Is this ambiance? There we go. 
Okay, I think that's a tiny bit better. All right, that was really loud. Okay, time to head back up into the waste. No, I want to stay here. I want to go to the tavern. One of our oracles has gone missing near the Ickhard Monastery. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Is it the prisoner that we found earlier? I don't do missing people. Well, let's see, we'll find him. The soul blade whispers. These fools, if only they knew what they were playing with. Uh, ah, talking sword. Or, and what's that? <laughs> the sight. In a flash, you can see the spirits of the blade's other wielders. Among them, you see a man that you recognize. Yes, the blade whispers. That was Baron Dread. Interesting. A change in leadership. The Ickhard Shogun is sick. Maybe he should, like, move on. I'll slay him or absolutely not. So these people uh, in Shkozak want us to kill the Ickhard Shogun. The old man who's dying. We already visited him. And no, I don't think so. They shrug at you. Whatevs. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Jeez, they can't just wait for him to die, man. Rest up, or I can rest when I'm dead. Yeah, let's do that. Ask us your questions, the sword thing. Yep, we get the same answer. I really want to get... Uh, no. No. All right, I guess we have to leave out. Leave. I was hoping to sell the treasure as well. Is that a dragon egg? Let's go and fight this bird now. Okay, we could go up to... Yeah, no, I think we're going to just stay out here for a minute. Shkozak encampment. We just did that. Let's keep walking, see what else we find. Find a lone bird wandering the tundra. Let's fight it. Ooh, a flock of dragons coast over the tundra nearby. Ice drakes. We can either ice egg hide... Okay, because we have their egg, I guess. Or we could charge the drakes. Ah, let's go be reckless. Charge the drakes. As you dash out into the open, all heads turn in your direction, and the flock descends. Ay, challenge 18? No! Ay, ay, ay. Carefully set the egg down. As you slowly push the egg toward them, they eye you and creep closer. One of them grabs the egg in its mouth and flaps away. One by one, the other drakes follow them. Okay. We didn't get anything for this? I'm surprised we didn't get any kind of karma or something. A path leads back to the road. I guess we can go down to the road. Two men arguing. They point at each other, claiming each is the real one. Either neither of you are real, or you're both real. Uh... Neither of you. <laughs> The men glance at each other. They yell that one of them must be real. Maybe you're not. They attack you. Lost some health there. The dunes. Before you lay an endless desert wasteland. I don't think we'll go there yet. Let's pr uh, explore this kind of grassland area. Oh, bridge troll. No. He who would cross must answer me. These questions three. I don't think we have enough health to survive this in case it gets... Uh, I didn't do ominous riddles. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Fruit cart. Hey, you come upon a roadside fruit cart. Sure, I'll take some, or I'm already full. Yeah, we'll take some. Uh, spend a little bit of gold to get some health. The shopkeeper hands you some fresh fruit. It was delicious. Injured woman. You find an injured hag woman. Take her with you, or leave her behind. Let's take her. So now you see we have a hag companion. The town of Bradford stands before you. Let's go. Drop the hag woman off in town. I think we should continue traveling together or yeah, this seems like a good place for her. No, let's let's travel with her. Maybe she has something to impart to us. Church monks. You come upon a group of town monks. We can either donate or refuse. Let's donate. All right, we've got 10 karma. That's quite nice. Maybe I should get a room for the night. E I can rest when I... We don't need to spend the money. We don't have a lot of gold right now. Peaceful wizard. You meet a strange wizard. He tells you that the true heroes create peace, not war. Then he disappears. What a random yet earnest sentiment. Or old kook, they're called warriors. <laughs> yes. Town merchant. He offers to buy your treasure for coin. Yeah, let's do that. Sell all treasure. Got only 85 gold for that. Not much, but that's okay. I'm going to stay a little bit longer. Careless trader. 
You see a distracted street merchant. You could swipe some of those wares. Do you either steal or draw attention, draw his attention to his booth. You arrive at the front of this booth and ask to inspect some of the items he has on display. After a moment, he realizes his error and thanks you. Drinking tournament. Okay, there's a drinking tournament in a nearby tavern. The laughter echoes into the rural streets. We can go bring it on or I don't do competitive alcohol. Uh, I'm not much of a drinker myself, but let's bring it on. You dive into the contest with hearty effort. You stare down the last competitor as you go drink for drink. Just as he seems to be fading, the world goes black. No! Haha, <laughs> we didn't get that. Overworked farmer. A farmer asks around for a day's help in his field. He'd pay well enough. Don't do agriculture or simple task for magic. Let's do that. Wow, we got a lot of gold for that. He shows you to the field. A few casts of animate objects later, an army of broomsticks makes short work of the harvest. He thanks you profusely and hands off his savings. Wow, nice. Town stables. You're offered a chance to buy a fine horse. This is a good thing. Horse is good. So buy horse. Yes, please. 200 gold, but yeah, nice. You pay the stable. What did we get? Tamed horse. It looks like a zebra. You pay the stable master the coin and grab the reins of your new horse. Uh, I don't want to rest. Let's see if there's anything else here. The monks. Let's donate to them. We get some more karma. Distracted street mentioned again. I don't know what that does. It doesn't seem to do much here. Drinking tournament. Should we try? Yeah, bring it on. No, we didn't win again. Okay, let's do some more magic here. Yay. Um, I can rest when I'm dead. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave out. Leave the town. There are different opportunities that come, especially in the tavern. Uh, so it's kind of good to go through the cards a few times, even if there are some repeats there. Tree in the road. There's a tree in the road. We can either tamed horse, tie the log to your horse, or we can leave it behind. It's someone else's problem. This is basically a tree blocking the road and people can't pass by. Uh, so we get uh, more XP and we get a little bit of karma too. I have no idea what karma does. Um, I don't know if it's a thing for the next a lifetime or if it's just luck or something I'm not quite sure okay you happen upon the city of Aluris that's the title of the game uh, we can enter the city of course or keep walking let's go in all right Aluris city baker baker perks up as you walk by no thanks or buy some bread I don't think we need bread that's gonna give us health so we'll say no Aluris royal castle it appears as though there's a large party going on let's go Peer in through the gates. What a fabulous looking party. The queen looks noticeably bored by the festivities, though. That's sad. The fair. There's a large fair going on. Do you attend? Of course. Sure, why not? The mead stand. A small stand with many mugs of mead catches your eye. Um, this will give us health. We don't really need it. We have no gold to spare. Play the ring toss. The man reminds you it's not part of the fair challenge. We can throw the ring, but cheat, or let's do something else. Let's just use that. Why not? You throw the rings, adjusting them midair with some subtle cantrips. You win a cash prize for your skill. Yeah, we got a lot of gold for that. That's a nice large cannon. There's a comically oversized cannon. We could volunteer to be launched out of it or that. That seems dangerous. I normally would go with this, but it's kind of fun to be launched out. You get launched out with a loud bang, but the cannon's calibration appears to have been way off. You fly out of the town and back onto the road with a thud. Oh no, we're out of the town. Jeez. We can go to the river. Uh, ignore or go. Go fishing. Yeah. All you find is worthless junk. No. Pack of rats. Sure, we'll attack them. Get a little bit of uh, XP. Go to the mountains. Keep walking here. Fruit cart. Yes take that frozen waste we've already been there i think we'll keep walking town of bradford sure uh we don't need the room distracted merchant yeah let's help him out what if i steal his wares what happens town monks let's donate of course we get more karma the monks bring out a small box as a thanks for your donation they give you the legendary holy hand grenade Hello, Monty Python reference. That's the second one. The first one was the troll uh, bridge thing. 
Drinking tournament. Yeah, try. Hey, you dive into the contest with hearty effort. And after two hours, you cling to consciousness while the last competitor falls. You lift the golden drinking belt. Long reign the champion. So we're now drinking champion. Okay, so that's added to our stuffs. The farmer. Yes, let's do some farming. Good, good, good. Gives us money. Uh, I guess we can leave the town. Sure. We're now in a much better position here. Allurus, yes, let's go. Um, baker, no thank you. Aha, the old shopkeeper offers you a deal on an old loot. I think we should buy the loot. I'm no musician, but that's okay. You pay the shopkeeper and retrieve your loot. It's beautiful, but you have no idea how to play. Maybe we can use it for something later. Large fair, yes, let's do this. Okay, sword exhibition. A few of the more pompous attendees appear to be preparing for a sword play exhibition. We have this soul blade, so I want to see Let's Play. No! What is this? You show off your skills in a mock combat with another fair goer. You take a few cuts, but remain standing victorious. Okay, we're the fair sword champion. Excellent. And there's an archery contest. Shall we go? Why not? I'll give it a go. You miss so drastically, you hit someone with your arrow. You have to pay a fine for assault. Oh dear, that's horrible. Jousting tournament. There's a jousting tournament about to start. We can say, let's do something else or tamed horse, join the tournament. Let's do it. We got some money and a level, almost level 10 here. You join the tournament, you take a few bruises, but come out on top, earning some money and experience. Play the ring toss, sure. Money, money, easy money there. Mead stand. Yeah, let's buy a mug of mead. You drink the mead. The rich flavor of honey is worth the coin. Gives us some health and, of course, reduces gold by a bit. I want to stay at the fair. Ah, yes. Large cannon. Let's volunteer to be launched out. You hurl through the air and land perfectly in the center of a hay bale with a bullseye on it. Sounds good. An archery contest. Yeah, let's see. Ah, oh, you definitely shoot the bullseye, earning you a cash prize. Okay, we didn't injure anyone this time. That's great. Um, yeah, let's have some mead. Yes. Ring toss, more money. Hooray. Man, sure. Okay, 40 gold for that. That's really not great. Let's head back. We did get the cannon. That's exciting. Uh, a large party. Okay, let's go and see. What a fabulous looking party. The queen is still bored. Baker perking up. Um, tavern? I can rest when I'm dead. It's fine. Oh, I should have rested because we're not actually at the tavern unless we rest. Let's skip the pa uh, there. Oh, a shady figure walks up to you and offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a price. Eh, sure. What's the worst that can happen? The shady figure takes your coin and hands you a set of dimensional shackles. What the heck are those? Huh. Let's get back on the road. Game trail. This looks like a good spot to do some hunting. We don't need any... You know what? Let's try to hunt food anyway. Okay. You dive into the run, easily catching some small game. We've got health, but we don't really need it. So let's skip this. Uh, keep on walking. I'm going to keep on walking. Roadside fruit cart. No thanks. We're good. A river. Let's go... F no, we don't need to fish. Fishing is food, basically. Found speeding. Guard runs up yelling, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, over and over. He says you've exceeded the speed limit. What? Pay him some gold or retained horse right away. <laughs> That's not real. You're right away on horseback leaving the guard fort behind. <laughs> I'm like speeding and kind of like, yeah, uh-huh. Frozen wastes. We could go back there. Let's keep walking, see what else we can find here. Farmers hiding on the roadside. Something looks like it spooked these folks. Let's follow their frantic pointing. Ooh, there's an ore crawler. That's an unsettling creature. Gross, these farmers are on their own. Or fight, let's fight it. Level 10. You smash the creature. The farmers are safe from the unholy scuttling. Though they don't have any gold to pay you. Instead, you take the barrel it was wearing. Okay, that's fine. Town of Bradford stands before you. Let's enter the town and get a room. Yes. Okay, the tavern is where the deals happen. Let's hang around, find out. You peruse the bulletin board. There's a personal ad for a healthy young adventurer. Shouldn't eat too much garlic. <laughs> really? <laughs> they, 
<laughs> Jeez. They promise a fun time and aren't picky about gender. Hello. Oh dear. The ad says to meet them in their private grotto in the forest. <laughs> nope, this looks suspect as hell. I mean, you'll leave one. <laughs> YOLO, man. <laughs> Okay, we have another drinking tournament. We have the drinking champion, so bring it on. Maybe it'll give us some... Nope, we didn't win. No! Homely maiden. A young woman has seen your wealth. Nah, or marry her. I don't know if I want to marry anyone for... Just because she's seen my money. It's like, hello. I don't care if she's homely or beautiful. It doesn't even matter. All right, let's leave the town. <laughs> Can do some hunting. Let's appreciate nature here. You reflect on the majesty of the wilderness around the road. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Mean bird. Let's fight it. Oh, aerodynamic stone. You find a particularly aerodynamic stone. Attempt to pick it up. You find it easy to lift the boulder. It flies into the air far out of sight. That's interesting. Uh, let's keep walking. What else? The river. Yes, go fishing. Oh, you pull your rod out, but a massive rideable turtle comes up with your hook. He seems bewildered, but happy to come with you. Oh, we have a turtle companion. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's go to Alluris. Diving suit salesman. How about it? Explore the deep ocean in this new fully tested suit. I don't do deep sea adventures. I'll take one. You pick up your new diving suit. If you take this out on a boat, who knows what you'll find. All right, we've got the diving suit. Large fair. Sure. Ring toss always gets us some nice money. I keep wondering if like we're gonna get caught for cheating or something. Need, yes, stuff, hooray. Archery contest, Shh, nah, doesn't give us much um, benefit. Let's do another. Ring toss? Sure, more money. Yay. <laughs> okay, we don't need this. Another archery contest. Hello. Sure, we'll take this. Yay. And then let's head out. Okay, let's get a room for the night because of the deals. Hang out in the tavern. An old man takes a seat at your table and offers a job. He needs an old mill on the road cleared out. It's filled with ghosts. Uh, he offers little in the way of details, but insists it's his legal property. I will rid the mill of ghosts, no problem. Okay, let's see what the party has. Is there anything there? Hmm. This is another guy with stuff in his pocket. Sure. No! The shady figure takes your coin before running away, cackling like the crazed lunatic he is. No, he just took our money and didn't give us anything. Alright, let's get out of the out of the town. Here's the old mill. Okay. All right, let's give it a look. As you push inside, a booing sound grows and several ghosts of young children fill the room. One of the ghosts raises an old cane in your direction and points toward Alluris. Let's grab the cane and walk slowly away. Do hunting? Uh, sure. Nothing to eat, okay. I kind of want to go back to the tavern. Brightly colored berries, sure. Oh no, they're poisonous. Town of Bradford. Okay, um, we can go here. Drinking tournament. Wait, we don't have the drinking. Oh no, we don't have the drinking thing anymore because we lost last time. No. Okay, now we're the champion again. So we got to remember not to do any more of those contests. <laughs> Yes, let's have a room for the night and hang around the tavern. Old sailor approaches you. He needs a guard to protect his ship from pirates out at sea. He promises to pay well for a guard, but it might be dangerous. Hmm, I wonder. Let's go or I don't have time. I think we'll find out what we do in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.